So I'm going to help you fix an error that pops up when you're trying to install Windows on a computer and you get the error message, we couldn't find any drives. Uh, what this means, and the case I'm going to help you with, this could be for a few different reasons, but the reason, the reason it happened in my case and what I'm going to help you get past is this is uh, because you may be using an SSD drive in a newer laptop and they actually configure those into some kind of RAID configuration. And Windows by itself can't detect that RAID. So you need to get the Intel driver to identify that RAID and see that it's a hard drive. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So in my case, I was using a Dell laptop. So that's where I'm going to pull my drivers from. You may have to go to your laptop manufacturer or wherever you get your drivers from to find it. But I'll show you how I found it on here. So I'm using a Dell Inspiron 3511 and um, going over to drivers and downloads. I'm just going to list all the drive drivers that are available. And what I'm looking for is the Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver. Um, this is what is going to help identify the um, serial. It's going to identify the RAID drive and show it during the installation process. So all you're going to do is download this driver here and then um, extract that, throw it onto a thumb drive. Um, most likely you want to put it onto a thumb drive that um, you're going to use during the installation process. So once you have that file downloaded, you're going to run the program and this window will pop up. All you're going to do is hit the extract button. So I'm going to extract it into an Intel folder I created on my desktop. This window will pop up telling you that the extraction was successful. So once you have that file extracted onto your desktop, what you want to do is you want to make a note of the drive, the path to the driver, because you'll need that later. So what we're going to do is we're going to go Intel, Production, Windows 10, into Drivers, and then the W, I'm sorry, the VMD folder. That's where the drivers will be loaded from. So make a note of this path, write it down, you'll need it later. Okay, we're into the installation process back on the laptop now. So, you know, follow the clicks through, install now. Um, you're going to have to agree to some terms and conditions here. Um, and then you're going to want to select uh, the advanced mode because we're doing a fresh install. That's why we need these drivers. So as soon as you do that, there comes the error with the drives not showing up. So we need to load the driver. So we're going to click load driver and then we're going to click browse. And then we're going to browse to that Intel drive folder that we created on that thumb drive, uh, production, uh, windows, and we're going to get into that BMW folder, select that, hit OK, um, select the driver that matches your chipset, um, load it up. It's going to take a few seconds for it to run through. And once it's done loading the driver, um, all your drives should populate on the screen and uh, should eliminate any problems you would add. Hope this helps.